Random Radio. Lorenzo Tomas here. Make sure that you guys hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button so that you always know when we got stuff going on. Make sure that you guys also follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, uh, subscribe to us, all that stuff that you always know when we got brand new content. This is something that you need to know. And uh, I want you to meet Mr. Easton Blocker. This little boy here goes to a school in Arkansas where they had an event known as Dress Up As Your Favorite Person Day. Check out what East, who Easton Blocker chose to dress up like. Check this out. I'm doing so good. This is pretty much five-year-old Easton Blocker's dream. You ready? Kickball in his front yard with his favorite person. Not a year. His school security officer, Jeffrey Cross. From day one, he has always had a fascination with Officer Cross. So much so, Easton dressed just like him for Dress Like Your Favorite Person Day at school. I was honored, you know, for the fact that he would pick me. Easton wouldn't have it any other way. He keeps me safe every day. Cross is the school security officer at Bobby G. Lester Elementary School in Jacksonville. I missed our first year uh, having an armed security, school security officer. Jacksonville North Pulaski School District is the first district in Arkansas to have one in every school. They had questions on why I was armed, and, and I would just tell them uh, I'm armed to protect them from someone bad who will try to come hurt them. That has since stuck with Easton. He tells me every day, Officer Cross keeps us safe from the bad guys. Easton's mom, Lauren, helped them look just alike. Well, he was up before the alarms even went off this morning. Making Easton his very own security shirt. Ta -da! Junior security, that is. That shirt is probably going to stick with him forever. It means a lot to him. Seeing Easton all dressed up means a lot to Officer Cross, too. It makes me appreciate my job more. Because it shows kids are grateful for heroes just like him. I'm willing to put my life on a line <laughs> for all these scholars, just like any other security officer will. Five-year-old Easton Blocker was tasked with dressing up as his favorite person at school. There was no question about who he would be emulating that day. The five-year-old kindergartner at Bobby G. Lester Elementary School in Jacksonville, Arkansas, dressed like the school security guard, Jeffrey Cross. He's infatuated with Officer Cross Easton's mom, Lauren Blocker, told Good Morning America Thursday. He will tell you, that's my best friend. Cross, 35, said that Easton's form of flattery came to a happy surprise. Most of the scholars are expected to dress as their teachers or fellow classmates, as said Cross, who has been working at the elementary school since August. The security guard said Easton is a fun kid and footage of the pair shared by GMA shows the duo playing catch and sharing an embrace. Easton, ever since the, the first day of school, he's come up and hugs me, Cross said. He's adorable, he has fun, he has very fun, high-spirited personality. Lauren said, this is Easton's mom, that it was Easton's idea to dress up like Cross. She got her son a yellow t-shirt that reads Junior Security on the back. For someone who my son looks up to so much, I'm going to say, hey, this is how much he adores you. Lauren told GMA, adding that she even invited Cross to the house to play with Easton. She's got jungle fever. The Jacksonville North Pulaski School District shared the sweet friendship on Facebook Wednesday. This is by far one of the best stories I've ever heard. I, I, I just don't know when is the last time I've heard a story so great. This young Caucasian boy is infatuated by this African American man. This goes to show you people, all you blacks who out there who say stuff like white people are born racist, this shows you no one is born racist. Now on the flip side to this, Lord, his mother could like Mr. Cross. Maybe she's into Mr. Cross? She's got jungle fever. Maybe she's been saying positive things about Mr. Cross at the house which has been leading Easton to believe that Mr. Cross is a good guy too. But once again, proves that not all white people are racist and that we need to learn from Easton. And maybe what we should do is be more unified ourselves. Stop looking at our differences via color, via religion, 
via gender and say to ourselves, what are the positive things that we can find in each other? I absolutely love this story. I think this is a great story. I think that many people have a misconception about the rural South and about Southern states such as Arkansas. And this is a story that proves that people are not all the same. And that's maybe, maybe the children, maybe the children could lead the way in this. I don't want to be hearing about no kids picking their genders. That don't make sense. But when we're talking about race, maybe we should look to all the Eastons that are out there. Hey, you guys leave some messages in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Do you like this story? I think it's a great story. I think it's a great way to kick off our week. Who knows what craziness we're going to have this week. We need something beautiful like this to start the week. Do you guys not like this story? Is there someone out there who feels like, man, this little boy, forget him. If you are that person, please leave a message in the comment section. I'd like to know what you think. I'd like to know why you don't like this. That sounds crazy. Either way, this is going to make America great again, I guarantee you. We don't even need Donald Trump. Maybe we should, maybe Easton, Easton, keep it up. Keep it up, Easton. Keep being like this, I guarantee you. 30 years you'll be a good candidate for president you guys check out everything that we got going on leave some messages in the comment section like share and subscribe and this is something that you needed to know random radio yeah, you are listening to random